As the cooler weather begins to set in, we humans make a beeline for the warmth and comfort of home. Well, you can bet plenty of those pesky bugs and insects are right behind you. Joining us today from Action Pest Control is Kevin Pass. It's great to see you. Good to see you, Whitney. So, okay, nobody likes the idea of sharing their home, apartment, anything with bugs. So what should we be on the lookout right now and then into the winter? Right now we're seeing a lot of uh, what we call overwintering insects. And these are the ladybugs, uh, stink bugs, box elder bugs. They're not really um, a danger uh, to us or our children. They're just pesky nuisance, and they're looking for a place to spend the winter that, that they can survive the winter, and often that's our home. And when you get these cool, cool nights and also on a warm day, they become active inside the home, and it's a, it's a mess. Yeah, it sounds like it. So, okay, <laughs> they're not really causing any kind of problems, not like termites no. eating your home or, or, or anything exactly. dangerous. They're just... A lot of times what we tell a homeowner to do until we can get there is just to take a vacuum cleaner and vacuum them up. There's no reason to apply a pesticide because you have to spray it on that pest to kill it. Uh -huh. So why not just take a vacuum and suck them up? Okay, well that sounds easy yeah, enough and, yeah, and uh, kind of a cheap idea. So Absolutely. Okay, I think that's good, but why do some people see more problems than others? Is it location? Is it what they ha have in their house? What's the deal? A lot of times it's what may be planted around the house, but a lot of cases it's a house that might not be sealed as well as the next house. And so the same things that you're trying to do to um, winterize your home to save energy, uh, you want to do for pests, and that's the, the seal on the underneath side of the, uh, the door, the, the uh, weatherproof weather strip, and then caulking around windows. And, and pre prevent access from the insects, you have to lose less pesticides indoors, and you keep the pest outdoors. That sounds like an, just an all-around saver, really, because, Absolutely. I mean, not only are you saving yourself the trouble of having to, having to deal with these, you know, pesky bugs, energy savers as well. As, exactly. So anywhere you think that there's air movement, it doesn't take a lot of space for an insect to get in. So mm -hmm. caulking those things up, uh, caulking those areas is, is a real uh, saver on getting insect infestation. Absolutely. So, you know, we've talked a lot about your termopest, and I, I want to just ask you a general question here. There was somebody who had asked the other day, they had an ant problem earlier in the year, okay. and they used some RAID, which everybody right. is probably familiar with, his cat got sick. Right. So this is obviously a problem that some, a lot of folks probably have encountered, yeah. but when you use your termopest, is there going to be the same effect? Uh, people, you know, might be tentative or hesitant to use it because they don't want an aerosol or something well, We like find that a lot of people, uh, by the time they call us, they've already tried, experimented with stuff themselves, and more often than not, or actually just about every single case, they've, they've applied more pesticide than we'll ever apply. And they've exposed themselves and their pets and children to more pesticide. The aerosol is the worst because it is in the air. And, you know, I don't know what happened with the cat, but it could easily have gotten um, uh, a dose of insecticide and caused uh, uh, it to be sick. Cats and fish are very susceptible to pesticides. We want them out of the room when we're doing any applications, but our applications are focused on voids and, and non-volatile materials so that there is no exposure to us mm -hmm. as well as to the homeowner and, and the pets. And that's what really makes the termopest different exactly. from what folks at home could be using is because you know exactly where those bugs are. You're getting it in those spots that we exactly. would never really really know about. That's correct. All right. So that's always something good to remember yes. then to be safe. Call the experts. And if you'd like to know more information about Action Pest Control, you can always log on to our website, news25.us. We'll link you right up to their website and offer more information. Kevin, thank you so much thank for being here with us. All right. And stay tuned. We'll be right back with more right here on The Friday Show.